Hi Twin Flames, welcome back, welcome if you're new, my name's Sophia, so I thought I'd do a bonus read because I've got a new pack of decks, I wanted these for ages but I'm not sure if I can read them, but I thought I'll give it a go, this reading's going to be uh, good news for you, all about your person, I'm feeling a very sad frequency and uh, it's your person, so I thought I'll do that, in fact, uh, yeah, I'm going to see, because I'm going to use these Melanie cards, I hope you don't mind, as a kind of a subconscious, what's going on underneath, tell me the roots, tell me what's going on, um, I'm going to use them all the time as kind of the, the root messages you need to know from your person, all that, what to work on, so let's see what's going on with your person. As I said in my other reading I just done, uh, I might not uh, post tomorrow. It's this one. <laughs> Oh, check this out. <laughs> it's a cup. Appreciate it. Cup of love. I told you I'm feeling these cards are boom, Melanie. They definitely go with the readings. Uh, like I said, I felt an energy of the heart chakra sadness is a cup. So let's see what else this says. I am appreciating any attention my twin is giving me. I am. Yeah, this reading will help you with that because... He, he, you two are aligned, so he's giving you attention, he's loving you at the moment, doesn't mean you have to be next to each other, so there's definitely that what this reading is about, I am just allowing him to come, so he's allowing him to come towards you, him or her, I am being cool, <laughs> Melanie's cool, and fun, and she's fun as well, so uh, there, I'll leave that there, so let's see these ones, um, these cards are uh, well, it's up to you, but they're more about using your intuition. <coughs> You'll see. But I saw them about a year ago, and I just thought, uh, I was pulled to get them, but I was like, I don't know if I can read them, but I'll see. This is about your person, what's going on with your person. Oh, um, Psychic Medium Tarot, I do individual star signs because I'm not going to post individual on here. So please check out that one. That's on the subscription list. And more about Twin Flame. If you like these readings, then go to No Tarot Cards Needed. Generally, they're more Twin Flame. I put Twin Flame and Soulmate, but they're Twin Flame as well. So you get another, because you lot bunny hop. Tarot readers bunny hop. So if you like these readings, go to my other two channels. Um, the, the, the individual star sign is more about inner work. I go into the subconscious like this one. So as you can see, well, I don't know if you can see, but look at these cards. Uh, you kind of have to use your intuition. So what I'm feeling with your person, this is about getting, um, wanting a new, feeling, feeling stupid but wanting a new start and trying to get the encouragement, encourage himself to go forward, to push forward, to have a new start. But at the same time, there's the push and pull, but this is, this is the, um, this is inner sight, not the push and pull between you and your person. This is one minute wanting to take the leap of faith and going towards you um, because there's a knowing here that he, he should have done it uh, and trying to get the courage to do that. But at the same time, feeling stupid about the past. That's what I'm feeling with this card. Uh, this card. One, two, three, four. I think this is... Oh. I don't read the uh, description book. <laughs> I look at the pictures. But this is uh, the Knight of Swords slash the Fight of... But this is about... It's very... Uh, I'm getting a Pacific one here. And you wouldn't even know this, but this is what I'm getting told with this card. This is to do with... Um, knowing his words... Uh, it's, 
something there's something about words or something what he said triggered his inner child or something you he knows you trigger his inner child something like that he knows that he what he said hurt you he knows you have an inkling about some third party and that is just you know <clears throat> not real he knows how much you emo emotionally invest him or her there's something here about he knows you're the twin flame he knows you're the one it's is a, a like i said this is weird because it's not weird but you know you wouldn't know this it's like he's telling me this is for your person him or her and this is why he wants to come towards you because he knows that your you two got this this childlike connection i'll show you the cards but obviously you know um this is what i'm um, clairvoyant thing visual This is also, this is, uh, this card I'm really picking up with, he knows you're the one. There's no doubt in his mind. It's just getting the bollocks, the first card, the first two cards is getting the bollocks to have a new start here. This is what I'm, I'm seeing with these two cards. <laughs> this one is like, um, he thinks, so, um, you're shit hot look at this card <laughs> but also that um you're going off on your own way you're um going towards your own passion your um this is his this is his thought process as well back and forth this is the like i said the first card he wants to jump in then he knows he was stupid but he knows you're the one this card and and knows he hurts you and knows you pull out trigger his inner child but also knows about the past life connection for some of you knows the twin flame six of cups here but also um releasing and know you're triggering it there's a lot here with this card knows that you're releasing him this is subconscious but he knows they're not silly planets when you're twin flame regardless if you it's your person or not they have this kind of knowing stuff that you're connected that just might not say it this is a big knowing of you here that you um the childlike and all this kind of thing but at the same time he knows his words hurt you and he, he knows that it uh, might of um what he's done something is um um and you was vulnerable to him so you could have this is some of you you know said say you know um, look let's work it out properly and he rejected you or you could have said I loved you he didn't say it back there was some kind of vulnerability with you so he's recognizing that that he was stupid that uh, you know he's reptilian pulled forward so that is like he's recognizing so he's thinking well if I do jump forward um, you know she's there's no chance more chance pigs will fly Something like that is what's going on here. So he's trying to uh, balance that out. I'll get more information on that. This is about... Um, oh, this is... What is that? Oh, this is about... releasing this is releasing oh, i'll show you the card but like i said you got you got you got to be a clairvoyant visual here this is about releasing the 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 karmic not connecting with knowing he didn't follow this is understanding that he was in con, not in controlled some of you have a person who has like i said the retrogrades are bringing up exits right and if they're not bringing up exes, you don't know that there's exes around. There's exes coming back and there's exes coming back for you. This is like feeling tired. And this is why your person generally doesn't come towards you. There's some kind of which you lot have, which you lot refuse to do the inner work or don't go deep enough. You have some bond or tie to a friend, family, ex-belief, tradition, religion. 
that you have to stay there for some whatever reason. Your person doesn't come towards you because of that reason or in their situation. Some ex that they're tied to due to babies or, or you know, a mum and dad, location match, he, she will do, uh, marriage, something like that. This is like feeling like they're controlled, but understanding that they ignored their, now seeing the tie, now seeing the tie here of that, um, I was with that person and they controlled me. There's some kind of control. Like I said in the other reading, go and watch that. It could be a friend or it could be, and they da and then they're not ringing you or your friends and family not ringing you. Listen, you fucking do what I say now, but they're still controlling you. If you want to go out and you like, your friend's on the phone and they're chatting shit for an hour about stuff, they're never really, uh, how are you? I'm fine. Okay, well, guess what happened with me? The whole hour's about them. You know they're controlling your day. Friends and family, well, don't go with him. He's did a did. They're controlling you. And you're like, well, why does he stay controlled, stay with his ex who you know is no good, if you know or not? Because you are allowing it. It doesn't have to be exact. The exactness is control, control. So you might be controlled by a friend, a mum, a dad, a family member, work, a boss, whatever. This is your person now understanding that. And he's coming free because this is zero here. This is the fall, I would say. Uh, so be releasing that, jumping in and getting the strength. But there's a, definitely an understanding. And I also get from this card is intuition. This is a... Knowing he brought... He was judging... There's a judgment here. He was... And you lot fucking judge. When I get those stupid-ass emails, stupid-ass comments, you lot judge how I talk. Even though I give away thousands, literally because it's not in pounds, I don't say here's thousands of pounds. Everyone who sells my programs, I've given away thousands. I don't take a penny, but you lot judge me on how I speak and you wonder why you're not with your person. It's not like I have to be horrible. I'm not, I, nothing I say is horrible. I said the other day, you lot should subscribe. Right. I don't know if this triggered this woman, but it's interesting because I always use examples. So you lot should subscribe because um, to be in mission, you have to not. It's not just about doing tarot and getting your person. It's the whole abundance is abundance. Right. And being loving is a loving. It's not just the words. That's why I'm very important. Apparently, it's because of I am blunt. But you lot have to go beneath that to see how I really am. And it's like um, with my words and stuff like that, you lot have to kind of give more and understand the dots go deeper and understand the connection with you and your person because you lot judge them. But you need to look at your own self. That's why I'm here to say it's kind of like you've got to look. You don't really have to look into me, but do you see what I mean? If you just react from, if I said go and subscribe, you know, why aren't you fucking this subscribing, go fuck off to other tower reader. But if you listen to what I said, realise I give away thousands of pounds, help you to be successful, help you to get with your person, get you financially abundant and focused on that, and then subscribe, it wouldn't have triggered you. It only triggers you when I'm right and, I, and you don't want to deal with it, whatever I say on this channel. You just got to have the balls, your person's gained their strength, the balls to admit when you're wrong. This is what's going on with your person. That's probably why I spat out that old spill. He's, he knows that he's done wrong, and he or, he or she, and they have to come back and um, admit that. Because there's definitely, he's, he's, there's a recognition of the control, the tie to this person, which you lot are tied to as well. I know, it's gone around the houses. What's this one? I don't know what this card is. I've got the booklet. I couldn't even understand the fucking booklet, to be honest. I browsed it. I thought, let me get, a, you know, a little squeeze. This is, this is you. These two are you. What is he saying here? He or she, you know. What is this? Oh, this is, he's knowing you pulled back. It's a, this is like, he knows you're protecting yourself. You're blossoming here. This is like 
so he's he's looking this is the um, checking up on you um this is um tired of the situation he knows that she knows that this is um i i don't know how to say it he's seeing you grow you blossom kind of thing and protecting yourself um but kind of gracefully i don't know how to say it he knows there's a knowing here these do go in deep there's a knowing here of your person if he if he fucks up or they fuck up or say the wrong word you will, will sting him because you're in your element you're growing you you don't need any more drama there's a kind of knowing here with your person i should do more of these because i'm sure you lot love to know what's going on with your person i might do more of these ones <clears throat> and that's what tarot is because <laughs> Is a kind of snippet of uh, what your person's thinking and feeling. And it's great for Twin Flames, because let's be fair, uh, masculines in general don't say jack shit. Unless there's kind of like, you know, more of a capsy, Pisces kind of. But still, they it's very hard. Masculines are ingrained to not really open up so emotionally, right? Um, but the, that's what tarot's about. So you just, you got to trust it trust when you get a good reading this one is yeah you've been stung look he knows he stung you look at this this one's pretty cool well it's not cool because you've been stung but do you see what i mean that's what i i think you know and he knows as well that it's like he knows you've had shit and you allowed him here in and you you know there's something about he had less or you was helping him or something, him or her, something like that. But at the end of the day, he still stung you. It's like he didn't come in or she didn't come in like Prince Charming. So it's like he knows you haven't had Prince Charming yet. But you still took the risk on him not being a Prince Charming. And you know he knows you deserve that. That's what you was looking for. But you know, okay, this is the one. This is the twin flame. So I'm going to go for it. But he still stung you. I, I know it's long. But that's what I'm getting with this. So let me get any more. Um... Oh, so he's back to this. It's a cup. Appreciate it. Because this, to me, is a bit of both of you here. It's like... You pulling it away. That's what these reasons I've done today, really. It's like... You're more pulling away. But Melanie, Twin Flame Healer card, is making it clear to you lot. Have patience. You know, it, it appreciate the love and all this kind of, like I say with me, you know, I, I don't give away for the fun, my stuff for the fun of it. You know, it's because I'm a loving person. Do you see what I mean? And that's how it is with your person. They're teaching you not to love how your perception is of love. That's what it is very, and that's with me as well. And that's why I'm very, very important. And I know that it sounds vain because of how blunt I am. But I'm like, but if you followed everything I state step by step, you will be abundant in all forms. But if you judge me how I speak, because I get pissed off because you're not doing what I state, which I do everything they channel me to do regardless. Like I, I'm doing an extra reading. They said to do it with this card. Didn't know if it's going to work. I thought, well, what, what would I care? If it sounds stupid, I just won't upload it, right? Seems fine, all right to me. And I thought, oh, I'll do it on your person. They channel me to do it. You lot, I tell you, because you're not getting guided messages. And you don't, so you're, to me, you're disrespecting them, your own twin flame guardian, guidance here. That's why I get pissed off. I'm like, you keep judging it's me, but it's not fucking me. You want your person... I channel what you lot should do with, with your person to get your person, which overall gets you all abundance. And you think, oh, fucking hell, there she is telling me what to do. I'm not going to do it. Judging. This is about judging, you see. This 
So focus on the cards, the, the oracle cards. Bit needs the oracles, I don't know. You know, love is about the love aspect. And this is so your the overall for this, your person's getting the strength to have a new start. We know this. This is the energy has been in the readings. And like I said, there's some foundation tower card, the clarification here. Something about foundation. And I feel it's two. I feel it's a foundation of a belief system from the ex that he's releasing. That's why you two didn't get together. I believe I've got to have this person over here because he's punching too much above his weight with you. Don't it thinks he's, you know, you're way too good. And also is a comfort zone of familiarity. But so do you. There's absolutely no doubt in my mind you have some familiarity that you're not coming out of your comfort zone with. 100%. Right? I kick ass on my subscription list. They think they've had it easy. Watch when they get the sex program. I'm going to ask them all to promote it, including Mr. Tim Green. <laughs> sex program, yes. So anyway, so hopefully you like this. I might do these more because it's about your person. And, you know, everyone wants to know about their person. So I'm out. So yeah, this is this is I probably won't post tomorrow. God, God, I felt well guilty saying no, so I'm going to do it tomorrow now. I've never done that. See, no thing such as work-life balance. So I'm going to take. Oh, I'm still working. I'm just going to probably half an hour in in the park with my grandson and my son. So this is tomorrow's reading. I thought, why wait tomorrow? I might as well upload it now, right? Okay, I'm out. Speak to you later.